Hello there, good morning. Can't you all see that this is actually part three of Let's Play uh, Andy's Adventure. It's time to continue on this wonderful, wonderful, amazing story. Uh, last time we broke uh, Flack out of prison and now he's joined our team. And we actually have three Flack missions right here. Air Force is inbound, commence an unusual attack method. We have uh, our HQ is unguarded. Have I seen this before? Hey, how long has that battleship been there? Ah! Uh, I say we... we just fought against Nell, so let's do max. Air Force is inbound. Commence an unusual attack method. Sami, the entire units are in place. The air units arrived as well. Good. I don't work well with air units, so you'll be in charge this time. And, uh, I don't use missiles that well, but their power makes up for it. Good. Now, as long as something silly doesn't happen, Andy can't get past us. Oh, why did you just say that? Hey, if you lose here, that's your problem, big guy. Alright, mission four. Bombers away. So these are all kind of like similar to the main campaign. This this reminds me of that mission where Flak... Oh my god, it's actually inverted. That's... That's so cool. I think this is like an inverted version of the actual mission where you fight against Flak with Max. Oh no, their defenses are too strong. We won't be able to pass. An air attack will leave our planes vulnerable to anti-air fire. Ha! <laughs> this is gonna be easy. Don't we have a couple bombers? Yeah, but those are direct combat units, aren't they? <laughs> Sit back and watch me crush them. This is so cool. I love this. Oh, okay. Ah, alright. Let's ask Kachi for help. Indirect bombers? <laughs> That's silly. He's obviously lying to you. Sneak your transport copter over the HQ. That plan never fails to work. <laughs> okay, okay, this is interesting. So we have uh, fighters here. How are we going to do this? I think letting them come to us initially might work. So Max's missiles are pretty pretty weak. But these fighters are covering the missiles pretty well, so we can't really do much right now. Ooh, wait. Okay, I see... A potential... Okay, no, this anti-air is in the way. I think we probably just want to wait a little bit. Let him come to us. We could move our bombers around here. And try to uh, take out this missile if the anti-air moves away. We'll see if that works or not. I don't actually think we need to move this bomber at all. No, this actually works just fine. Alright, let's move the fighters like this. I mean, if, if Hachi says capture HQ, then I, I guess we'll capture HQ, but... Okay, we don't want this uh, bot transport copter in range. Let's do this. Alright, let's see how this goes. Here comes the fighters. Comes the bombers. Oh, he's moving in his anti-air. What an idiot. Oh, uh, okay. Alright, I can, I can work with this. Let's start with the missiles. Let's take out their fighter. Oops. <laughs> ba -ba 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 He'll definitely have his power next turn, since airplanes cost a lot. Uh, so let's see. Uh, we'll probably lose our fighters, but I'd say like taking out a bomber for a fighter is a good trade. I mean, once you take down all the air units, it's not like you need the fighters anymore, am I right? So let's just do this. At least we can force him to spend his anti-air fighting our fighters. That way our battlecopters bot might be able to do some some damage. Okay, we can use uh, brute force right now, but I'm not sure if that's a good idea. So, uh, Flax brute force, uh, usually he's at minus 10 plus 20%. I think that's how it, I, I don't remember the values in my head right now. I think he's like... Flak does sometimes minus 10, but he can do up to 20 or 30. I think when he uses his Brute Force, that goes to like minus 20 plus 60. And I think when he uses his like super Brute Force, that's like minus 30 plus 90 or something. It varies from game to game. I don't remember exactly how it works, but... I, don't, I actually think this power is just going to make it difficult for me right now, so... I don't think I'm going to use it. No, there's going to be one fighter left standing, no matter what I do, so that kind of sucks. Uh, how much damage do I do to anti-air? 95%. Hmm. I think... The pr 
proper course of action right now would probably be to take out an anti-air like this. I mean, if I just systematically pick up all, all of his anti-airs, then I, I maybe my bombers will stay alive. Okay, I think I definitely want to shoot on this battlecopter. Uh, I could do this, but hmm. this HQ is all the way up here, though. There's also an anti-air units behind behind there, so I suppose. Uh, I could at least hurt his missiles a little bit, like this. I think this is gonna be tricky. This will proc his ma max blast next turn, and I'll get like extra movement and shit, which is not great. Uh, okay, I think I can make this work. Yeah, let's uh, let's just blast the Santire. Hmm. That was like a lucky flex strike, I think. Oh, what the hell? Wait, what? Wait, 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 excuse, wait, 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 huh? A one-two range? What? That's a one-two. What the fuck? I thought they were just trolling. What the shit? Okay, all right, so this hack definitely uh, definitely breaks its own rules a little bit. Okay, now I know. Oh my god, a an indirect bomber. I actually have an indirect bomber. I didn't even re- wait, are all my bombers indirect? They are! They fucking- what? <laughs> That's enough. Get out of the road. Oh my god, all my bombers are indirect. That... I didn't even realize. Okay, this is gonna hurt, but I think I took out enough of his forces for this to not really be that scary. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. What? What's going on here? Why isn't his fighter attacking me? Wait, 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 what? What's going on here? I don't get it. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. I don't get it. Why? This is so strange. I don't understand this. Gra, here I come. Eat this. Okay, I'm very confused. So now I know my bombers are indirect. I wonder if they're just indirect for this mission or if that's a thing that happens all the time. Alright, please don't get a bad flak now. Okay, I got a good flak. In Norwegian, we say uflak and flak. Flux means uh, luck in Norwegian. So we, we tend to say flak or uflak, which means like bad luck, good luck, whenever I play with my friends. Okay, uh, this is hilarious. I, <laughs> I don't know why this is a thing, but it's weird. So this this I can definitely troll me a little bit. It's good to know. It's not just a story that's updated. All right, so we now know that um, bombers can attack from a distance, which means that we can do this. <laughs> it's kind of scary though. Also, these missiles can they not? I guess they just really suck. Yeah, they really suck. Uh, I feel like I have to take down this guy though. So let's just do this. <laughs> Oh, nice. Got a lucky flak there. Alright. If I then, uh... If I then shoot down this missile, then my bomber should be safe, maybe? That was a standard flak. Okay, can I, um... I may get a lucky flak here. Ah, I didn't get a lucky flak. Alright, what about my 1 HP Battlecopter? Maybe? So, in case you don't know how luck damage works, nah, it didn't work. Um, when a unit's HP is reduced, its luck damage is reduced um, equally much. So, an eight, one HP battlecopter cannot take down, for example, a 10 HP tank. It doesn't work like that. Your luck damage is reduced by your hit points. So, 
If you normally would do like 5 HP of luck damage and you are at half health, then that gets re reduced to 2.5. So, um, that's why as now you can't just use a bunch of 1 HP infantry to uh, like massacre the enemy's tanks. It just doesn't work like that. That's to kind of balance out luck a little bit, because luck is ridiculous. Luck damage is insane. In case you don't know, luck damage just works on an HP basis. It just deducts HP from the enemy. Defense remove, defense does reduce the damage that luck does. So basically, like, okay, so let me explain this in a proper way. So when Flak gets 30% extra luck damage, what basically happens is... Okay, so this would deal 105. What Flak does is that he bumps it up to 135. Regardless of defense, right? That's what makes luck damage so incredibly valuable. Um, so let's say an infantry does 55%, and Nell gets like a 40% lucky blow, goes up to 95. However, then it gets reduced by defense. So, standing on a forest will reduce the amount of luck damage you take overall. Um, and as I said, if the infantry is on half health, then the amount of luck damage it inflicts is also halved. So, you are limited a little bit by your HP. Anyway, I don't want to have my fighter shot down, so I'm just gonna do this. I wonder if there's something weird about the fighters that Max has. There seems to be something fishy about them, for sure. Anyway, let me, uh, cap this HQ. I mean, I guess I want a good tactics rank, so I'll just do this. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> Indirect bombers. I kind of like it, though. It really makes bombers. One thing I think that bombers would definitely have needed in Advanced Force, and I think if they ever do, like, a remake or whatnot, I would want bombers and fighters to have Kanto from Fire Emblem. I think them being able to move, like do hit and runs would be really, really sweet. I think that would... Because one of the problems I have with bombers and advanced force is that they are a huge investment. They're really good. Like they, they can kill any unit really quickly, but they die so incredibly quickly. They have absolutely no staying power. So, yeah, I guess we can just routes? I mean, I don't know. Sometimes you might get a different ending if you cap the HQ, so I'm gonna try that. It's better for your rankings to kill the APC, though, but I don't think it's gonna matter. I think this was an S rank anyway. Uh, uh, indirect bombers? Come on now, that's just shit cheating, and you know it. <laughs> Alright. There we go. I did it. Did you see that? Bombers away. Alright, save current data, of course. Join us here tomorrow for either the uh, Nell mission or the uh, uh, Sami mission. I'm very much looking forward to it. I hope you guys are as well. Ooh, give this episode a like and a comment, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye!